So, uh, Rob, I want to thank you very much for obviously doing this and taking the time to meet with me right now. Of course. Um, you've had a big impact on me and my company, uh, maybe more so than you even realize yourself. Uh, so I wanted to take a few moments to just kind of go back to nine years ago, um, tell you uh, why I reached out to you initially and how reaching out to you and your willingness to even respond to it has mm -hmm. kind of changed the trajectory of our company. Uh, we are celebrating 10 years uh, in March. Yeah. Um, Congratulations, so. by the way. And, and, and for a man that's just done incredible work for 10 years, uh, I'm honored that I play a part in the history itself, but the fact that uh, we get to go down memory lane because I, l I love hearing you talk about it. It's funny to me, but like really getting the details on what happened um, because it was all a blur uh, yeah. to me. So I'd love to, to get your context and then I'll tell you mine to see where uh, we meet and, and all the projects that we actually ended up doing, I would, all, I would love to go through too. For sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Streetly Skateboarding was in its very first season. I was just a, a huge fan of what was about to happen there. Uh, so I flew out to Ontario to uh, that first season there and just sat in the stands as a fan. And I remember thinking that year, I had just gone out freelance, um, was working by myself out of my house, and I was thinking to myself, someday, I'm gonna be creating all of the graphics yeah. for the Street League skateboarding yeah. on the Jumbotron, like TV broadcast, like I'm gonna do it, I don't know how, but I just sat in those stands and that was literally what I was thinking yeah. while I was attending that. Mm. Uh, so then the following season, Street League put out on Twitter an email address saying, if you wanna be an intern for Street League skateboarding, email this address. Okay. So. I was thinking to myself, and so at this point, for context, you don't uh, have you started ABC yet, or yeah, and it's just you by yourself yes. at this point. No employees, nothing. Nothing. Oh, yeah. Man, this is great. <laughs> so I was thinking to myself when I saw that tweet go out, I don't want to be an intern, but somebody's looking at emails. Yeah. So I typed up this whole proposal, and the proposal was basically like, okay. I can tell Street League is being branded by non-skateboarders on like the broadcast graphic side of things. Uh, a skateboarder needs to be involved in this and it's got to be me. <laughs> and, uh, and so I typed up a full proposal and I sent it to that email address for the internships mm -hmm. and then I was like, well, wait a minute. What if I could just like guess Rob's email address? Mm -hmm. So I just started guessing email addresses for you. and. I got a response back, okay. and the response back. But you went through. Did you go like Rob at Street League? Like and any, you, anything, and then you everything. just went Rob at Deer Deck. Like yeah. you go Rob. You did them all. Just I did them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I and got. So did you try them each individually in your hustle, or did you like lock them? Oh all no, up individually, on one? individually. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, you yeah. got to put the work in. Yeah. yeah. So not a group. Yeah. So individually was just guessing email addresses. And then I got a response back. Yeah. And that response said, let's do this. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> it was just, let's do this. And so I was like, okay, yeah. somebody's messing yeah. with me because yeah. they know yeah. I'm guessing Rob's email address and yeah. they're just like poking fun at me or whatever. Okay. And I was thinking, I'm freaking out because I had just suggested like a year's worth of work. And all I got back was a, let's do this. And so then about 24 hours later, Brian Atlas hit me up. Okay. And Brian Atlas says to me, he's like, he's like, congratulations, man. He's like, you have a better chance of winning the lottery <laughs> than you do Rob Deerdick looking at a cold email, let alone caring about what he saw in that cold email. Yeah. And Brian was like, Rob saw your work, he loved it, and he told me to reach out to you. Yeah. Well, look, I'm... Uh I like getting cold emails. I think it's funny. Um, <laughs> I think it's incredibly rare that, that, that it does ever make that leap. But I think it's the, the reality of what actually you presented was a really high quality level of work. 
right? And I think, at, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't like know the specific. Like when I think about me just saying "let's do this" and moving on, it's <laughs> yeah. really, really funny to me. And I feel like there's so many other like pro skaters and people I know that have like similar stories, you know, of like where like it, inside my universe, but. To me, the idea of understanding, trying to, trying to just get somebody to understand skateboarding, as you know, is this massive delta, right? Like they think they kind of know, but it's virtually almost impossible uh, if you don't come from the world because you end up thinking like, oh, this like rocket flip, like motion grab is perfect, right? Like, and but it was ultimately the quality of the stuff that was like, man, like he really, especially if he's this passionate about skateboarding, already knows Street League, like the, what he could actually do for us goes way beyond what we were even doing um, in that. But even then it's still a dice roll, yeah. right? Where I'm still just like, who knows? You know what I mean? You could, there's yeah. a million times mm -hmm. we're all engaged with, with somebody f from something cold and they just end up being crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it really ever, never goes anywhere and they never like amount to anything other than like some sort of crazy run, you know what I mean? And a lot of times in the Fantasy Factory days we just made TV shows around them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, a lot of times. So, um, but I think even for me when I think about it, like then what was the transition? Did you start doing a little bit of graphics and then you took it over completely? What was your actual path yeah. in it? So uh, after talking with Brian, I think it was maybe a couple months went by and we're probably in between seasons or something like that. And so I never really got an opportunity to work with you guys. Uh, but what's crazy is the Barracks has that competition, the United uh, Nations, yeah. where they accept like, um, you know, different films from different skate crews from around the country or around the world, really. So one of the skate crews was out of Dallas mm -hmm. uh, and they were called Dream. And uh, I skated with them all the time. Yeah. I wasn't as good as those guys, uh, and I was quite a bit older, but I was friends with them. Uh, we skated together quite a bit, and they asked me if I would do motion graphics for their submission. But you skated in that too, right? You yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got your go tos. <laughs> yep. What's I got, your go to? I got the, What's the your five go tos. <laughs> What's your go to? Uh, it's the 5 0 tray flip. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Man. laughs> it's a pretty serious go to. Right? <laughs> So, uh, so they won that competition and I flew out with them uh, and we filmed at the barracks. While they were filming at the barracks, I hit up Brian Atlas and I was like, all right, we've been talking about doing work. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm not in Los Angeles very often. Can I come over and talk to you more about it? So while they were filming their part for United Nations, I skated over, this was the old barracks, so I skated from the old barracks to yeah. Deirdrick Enterprises, uh, at where the Fantasy Factory was, yeah. met up with him, and that kind of sealed the deal, and then that's how we started actually working How together. long, how much longer, how far into that was that? Was that like a year later? Uh, probably maybe like four or five months, maybe. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I loved about, that's why I ended up in that building in the first place is because the, before the barracks became the barracks, I was the only one with keys and Steve and Eric never went there. Yeah. So like I skated there, we skated there literally like seven nights a week and nobody was ever there. Uh, it was just Steve and Eric's park, right? <laughs> yeah. And Steve was making movies and Eric just never went down there. And that's why I like, when I found found the building and it was like right across the street, but brand new, I was like, "This is perfect. We already come here every day." Uh, but of course, I, that went on to haunt me um, many years later. When really I'm just next to like a giant <laughs> trash dump, right? Like on the east side of downtown. You know what I mean? It's in a warehouse. Yep. You know? Yeah. So that that sealed the deal. We started working together, and um, you know, nine years later, we're still supporting Street League skateboarding. That's um, amazing. And graphics and and in that time, you know, uh, you've been generous enough to have us work with you on MTV shows. Yeah. Uh, so we've done motion graphics for you for Ridiculousness. Yeah. Uh, we did Fantasy Factory motion graphics at one point. Did, uh, what's the sorry, Snack Off? We yeah, did branded Snack, snack Off, off yeah. uh, Not Exactly News. Uh, yeah, so so yeah. several MTV shows. And then as Did you do the Flames on Firepower when we were doing the, the, the with Tom Jones when we were doing like the Firepower Energy thing? Yes. 
Did you do the flames on the... the I, I believe so. We, yeah. I definitely did one with flames where like Nigel nice Houston was going down yeah, the rail yeah, and yeah, had flames yeah, on him yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. That was a yeah. pitch for um, a supplement brand called Firepower. Yes. With the Kanye song. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah it was well, and it's funny that you mentioned Tom Jones too because if you, if you think about that cold email, that has changed the trajectory of our company that you gave me a chance because Tom went on to work at Nixon yep. and then that gave us an opportunity to work directly with Lucasfilms on Star Wars rock watch releases. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we also got to work directly with Disney on some 90th anniversary uh, watch releases for Nixon over there. Yeah, it's so, uh, so for me, I am just super grateful that you took a chance on somebody that's in Texas and yeah. not in Los Angeles, and allowed us to to work with you. Um, look, I, look, I'm you know, um, I'm grateful that uh, you became um, such a success. You know what I mean? It makes it a lot more fun to 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 have such a story, right? Yeah. And there's probably many a cold emails. I said, let's do this, and then the person like <laughs> literally has like a shitty job now. <laughs> um, so it's like it, it's also a beautiful thing to watch the progression of everything that you've done and how it's just gotten higher and higher and, and that you've always done uh, excellent work and I think you've always put together great teams and super reliable and you know even when I think of how amazing like um, um, Bass in the Trunk, what was the name of the song? Oh yeah, what Chanel was, West Coast, what was yeah, song? Bass in the Trunk music Bass video. In the trunk. Even, yep. even like that, like... That green screen shoot. Yeah, it's like even the beauty of that is like we were able to write this whole episode around it, then we you still delivered this insane like video to go with sort of this big made for TV concept type of thing. So, yeah. you know, like I am um, uh, appreciate the all the work that you've done and everything that we've done and I love the fact that it started from something uh, as simple as a cold email but it's the ambition you know yeah. it, and at the end of the day it should be a testament like if you really want to create your own path um, and take these leaps as I like to say a quantum leap uh, you got to take a shot at, at, at finding something that could really change your trajectory to actually change your trajectory, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I hope you don't uh, stop doing it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I know you don't. I mean, even in the email you sent uh, me here, it has some sort of like, it's just in case like the dude perfect guys are in town and need some graphics, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think you just keep taking those shots, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. just think about what, what that sort of evolved into. And there's no reason, even at, at success, you shouldn't be uh, taking a shot at, at Disney trying to do something for Disney or whatever else it yeah. may be, you know what I mean? Absolutely. So we celebrate 10 years uh, in March of our company. Um, we are 11 employees now, uh, and we're moving into a brand new 4,800 square foot building that we just bought and are renovating. So, yeah, looks yeah, amazing. Yeah, so from, you know, is it thrilling? Do you feel like you're like in your dream space and like and yeah. you're thriving? Like, is it like, are you in this perfectly like I made it space by getting into this this new venue? We've we've far exceeded anything that I set out to do years ago. You yeah. know, so it's just uh, now it's just uh, a blessing, and then figuring out how to maximize our opportunities to the best of our abilities because. 10 years ago, if I had told you, hey, I plan to build a 3D animation studio and we're gonna work with Nike and Adidas and Under Armour and Street League Skateboarding and the NFL, the NBA, the NHL, and we're gonna do it from Wiley, Texas. Yeah. And it, it, you reverse yeah. engineer that, mm -hmm. that doesn't look too good. Yeah. You know, so the fact that we're able to do it and we haven't had to, to move, it's allowed us to stay in Texas where the overhead is lower yeah. You can buy a building in Texas without too many problems, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, moving into this space, it's funny. Uh, I've, we have a very open work environment, um, and this is be the first time that I'm uh, going into my own office. Is that like in the loft? Is that where you're It's in the is? loft. And I kid you not, I thought to myself, I thought back to like even like the this and then the fantasy factory yeah. where your office was, and I thought to myself as I was planning it out, I said, where would Rob Deerdick put his office if he was putting it in this building? Yeah. 
Like, what would it, where would it be? Because I think he's got some high level thinking when it comes to creative spaces. Yeah. But I'm a show off too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I, you work with a team in an open work environment. I put myself in a giant, like, yeah. building inside the building by myself, you know what I mean? So my, I got my, my giant <laughs> pent corner of the penthouse all by myself. Over yeah. There. So now I'm going to have my own, my own office for the first time, and it's going to be pretty sweet. So yeah, good for so. you. No, I don't, I mean, I, I, I like it because I think you're genuinely happy, and yeah. I think like you've achieved success on uh, balanced terms, you know, raising kids and, and still having the adventure side of it and doing it thoughtfully and, um, you know, creative services is, uh, is a tough uh tough business you know yeah. in the sense of like you're you got to keep hunting right yeah. like uh uh in the sense of what uh, the work that comes in over time you know what i mean and but i yeah. think that you've even learned how to do that in in a super balanced way and at the end of the day 10 years ago uh, you wanted to do what you love and be successful just to ultimately live a, a great life, you know what I mean? And, and it looks to me like that's what you've done, which I you know, respect more than anything. You know? Well, I appreciate the inspiration and the opportunity, so. Okay, okay. congrats. Thank you. Congrats, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> great, hey. great, man, ABC, thank man. You, thank you, thank <laughs> you.